Where are we going, Aniston? McDonough. Ugh, McDonough. Oh my gosh, is she- The Vex State Competition. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, let look like a divorced dad. <laughs> <laughs> Put my house on the blackjack, but all on black, man. Just... We stopped for food at a mall. It's it's very it's very mid mall. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a mall this empty. It's a little sad. Like shut shut a mall. Get your smoothie. My smoothie. I'm. <laughs> like a six out of ten. Rate your boba. Great. The boba pearls are like a like a three out of ten, but the drink itself is like a. Like a six or seven out of ten. Rate your food. Uh, I got uh, boneless wings. I got the hottest uh, flavor because you know I'm just like He's that. Sniffling a little. <laughs> the nuggets were like this small. I've never seen boneless wings that small before. They had like it was terrible. I'll give it a nice four. It was still all right. Nice. <laughs> From the mall, we got back on the bus and went to the hotel. We got put into room 102 and hauled our bags down the hallway to get there. Ooh. There's a, there's two beds. Okay, we made it to the hotel and we're going to be leaving for the VEX competition. What is it like, skills? Skills for skills, yes. Do you want to explain that to the um, viewers? So basically, we have skills match. So we have skills and then we have competition. So skills, you basically just have to rack up the max amount of points that you can get. And then so you're entered on the skills ranking list. So the skills ranking list is probably the easiest way to like qualify for worlds. That's how we qualify for state. For this game, it's like scoring as many rings onto these mobile goals or these high stakes and stuff. So our goal right now, we're at like, what is it, 41? I think it's 42. Yeah, 42. So we need to get at least 70. I'm not too optimistic about that. We're gonna make it to trust. Worlds. Trust. We're gonna make it to Worlds. Trust, trust. I'm going to bring you guys around. We had about an hour before we needed to leave the hotel, so Anison and I messed around on her digital camera. At one point, we even went to harass Avery, but honestly, I don't think he was too mad about it. After that, it was time to leave for the high school. I feel like I was unconcerned about how we were gonna do, at least compared to Avery and Aniston, who were both freaking out a bit. The ride there was short and easy, so we had plenty of time to unpack the robots, batteries slash equipment, and of course, the snacks. We also got there a little early, so we were just waiting outside of the school, kind of staring at the other teams, but no regrets. When we finally walked in, the practice fields were to our left and our team spot was labeled with our team number. The place wasn't super packed yet, so we took advantage of the extra space to tweak Homer a little bit. Right now, I am tightening the standoffs that support our uh, clamp mechanism. So if they aren't tightened and they're very loose, then it means that the clamp mechanism isn't as uh, strong and sturdy and therefore the mobile goals will droop. So it's very imperative that these are like tight. Okay, we are about to go, ignore him. We are about to go get our robot inspector. Avery, get the- And so we waltzed over to get our robot inspected. The limit for our robot size was 18 by 18 by 18. And these lovely ladies were passing this beam thing to make sure that we were within bounds. After that, we have to get the bottom of our robot checked. I assume it's to ensure it doesn't have any sort of illegal parts, but I don't really know. After we got Homer okayed for competition, we went to go stand in the line for practice skills. Although it was a long line, watching other people's bots was pretty entertaining. And then it was our turn. I can't tell you if we did good on this run or not. I will say it's really funny to watch him scramble around eating up the rings, but part of me was a little worried for the actual competition. After that, it was time to do real skills. We walked down to the skills fields and there wasn't a line, so we just went ahead and tried it out. Addison showed the scorekeeper the controller and we were off.
we ended up making a 32 for our score. That's good. Not really. Anson, what are we making in this next round? A hundred! We did worse, low-key, but I panicked. The rest of the team went to go run programming because we only have one more shot at skills and, you. and we want to make it count, so we're taking a break from that. We tried one go at programming and it went not great, so we decided to head back to the hotel to get food and focus on getting a good night's sleep. Yay, I'm We are back in the hotel, showered, ready to go to sleep, except I still have to finish like a page of this. So I'm gonna lock the freak in and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Cue montage. The necessities, Scooby-Doo graham cracker snacks, and the hotel soap that was really good, and cookies, and Aniston. When we arrived, one of the first things we had to do was turn in this innovative award sheet and the engineering notebook. Notebook has been turned in. We low-key turned it in late, apparently. They didn't tell us. They really they didn't. didn't. They told us it was 8.30, but apparently it was due at 8, so, you know. Okay, Anison, do you want to share what you're doing right now? Um, so these inserts for these uh, flex wheels do not fit the flex wheels, so I had to shove them in, and they're coming apart right now, so I'm like trying to fix that. So we just found out we're against the number one like team in skills right now, and it's bad. For two matches, it's, it's not looking good. We're going to get cooked. Also, we have Avery scouting right now. And me and him are going to be switching out from scouting and like the little drive team, coaching Aniston, driving the robot around. Because I only have two eyes. At this point, our first match was approaching, so we went to talk with our alliance to discuss strategy. They were pretty nice and told us to play defensively. During the first match, our Autumn was completely out, so we were useless at this point. But when driving started, we took a defensive position, which did not go unnoticed. But eventually we got moving, and honestly, we carried that first team, not to flex or anything. Okay, good uh, news, good news! 24 to 3, and we carried it. That's amazing. Are we ready for match two? Heck yeah! And just like that, match two started. We got paired with a really good team this match, who actually had a Lady Brown to score on the high stakes, which was something that our robot lacked. And let me tell you, rings were getting got. We somehow, 28, 28 to like 23? Like yeah, we somehow won our second match. Uh, we got carried, but... Yeah, but we carried the first round, so it's yeah. fair. It's fair. We also had like no autonomous like run, so I feel like it's fair. I think we're currently troubleshooting the program. It just goes on to the second. Because it's a little rough right now. And then we're going to go on the practice fields. Uh, yeah. I think. So we are in sixth place right there. We still have a lot of matches to go, but this is looking a little hopeful. Much better than last competition and the competition before, and the competition before that. Honestly, much better than any competition. Yeah. Like, what do you have to say, Avery? We winning. We winning.
During this match, we were paired with the most brain-rotted individuals I have actually ever met, so I was a little skeptical about competing with them. But it was fine. At one point, Aniston left the corner she was protecting to grab some rings from under the ladder, but she couldn't reach them, and the other team almost got in the positive corner, but luckily our alliance managed to block them. And along with that, our teammates were great at scoring points, so they were filling up mobile goals easily. We just won our third. It was 28 to 16. We don't even know how that happened. Like, we got carried. We played great defense. We played good We played okay, good defense. defense. I didn't play good We could have probably not, to like, blocked their negative, yeah. but even still, we won by, yeah. like, a lot, so. But they carried, like, harder than people. Then we prepped our robot to go into match four, in which we were paired with the Pink Panther team. Oh, we just it's lost. Nice. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We won three, lost one. That's like better than normal. Yeah. Now we're getting ready for our interview, which I think we're the last people to get interviewed in this whole state competition. Racism, sexism, something. Weightism. Weightism. Some fat. So. After we finished up our interview, we got ready for match five. We didn't have high hopes for this match because the people we were paired up against were low key in the top ten. But to our surprise. We won! Okay. How much did we even win by? Like 10, 12 points. So we have what? We've we've played five matches, one We're four. Four and one. Four and one. Oh, oh we're for the win, baby! And they caught the win by but there was no time to complain because we were about to go up against the best team at the tournament. Are you ready to play against one of the best yes. teams? Are you ready? Come on, Anson, you got it. We uh, uh, we beat Gremlin. Gremlin is uh, no. the yeah, team. They're number two right now, right? Overall. Yeah, but like, they but they're like number. They consistently go to Worlds and like they're really solid. Really, really good team. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's, that's all yeah, we're gonna say. We're not gonna say about the terms and conditions of that. But, but we won. We won. We won. <laughs> It's our last match before the elimination Do you see these people? rounds. <laughs> there isn't really much to say about this match. We got paired with the worst team in the tournament, and we were paired up against some of the best teams, so we got incinerated. But for now, it was time for the top 16 to pick their alliances for the elimination rounds. Is it that one? All right, so 7 one, eight, one, one b Yes. Except? Yes, thanks. Avery, are we cooked? No, we might be cooked. Six eight two D. Two seven seven one X. One nine six one eight. Except. Nineteen sixty one Z. And last one. Twelve ninety two A. I'm gonna preface this with um. I'm sorry to everyone else. Five two seven eight A. Sorry guys. We were ranked 22 and, and people picked ranks lower than 22. And we thought freaking Homer had a reputation. Um, Apparently not. But we could, in theory, still win an award. Then it was time for the elimination rounds. Although we were sad to not be a part of them, they were super fun to watch. And honestly, other people's robots deserve to be there more than ours. In between matches, the announcer gave out awards that could qualify teams for worlds. And to our surprise, the judges award is presented to one, two, nine, five, four, G, four, eight, four. Although this award doesn't qualify for Worlds, we were ecstatic to receive it. Anyways, at that point, it was time for the final matches, and Gremlin ended up taking the win for the tournament, along with their team alliance. It would have been totally so cool if it had been us who won, but I'm still happy we had the opportunity to compete in the first place. 